Will says, what's up, Will? He says, I have a client in the printer hardware sales, uh, example, HP Design Jet and repairs. Google AdWords has disapproved all of our printer repair ads. This is a worldwide issue, probably because you use a trademark name in the ad. Other than GMBs and SEO, do you have any suggestions? I have tried printer maintenance, printer services type keywords in Google ads, and they tend to run for a week or so before they get disapproved. One thing I haven't tried is YouTube ads or Facebook ads. Um, printer maintenance and printer service keywords shouldn't be disapproved. If they are, I would get on the phone with a Google ads rep and ask why, to find out why, because that's a generic word, right? That's a generic keyword. That's not a brand term or a trademarked term. The problem with using, um, for example, Google suggests in their, um, uh, for Google ads, if, if you use call outs, call out extensions, for example, they give suggestions in there for the type of text that you can add as a call out extension. And so a call out extension is like where you can list the features or the benefits of a product or a service, for example. And what that does is it just takes up more real estate in the ad section for your ad. In other words, it makes your ad bigger and it allows you to get more text in there and things like that. And so they'll suggest that in the, in the call out extension, um, when you go to, you know, when you say you, that you want to add some call out extensions, they'll provide you with some suggestions. And it's funny because they'll say, see our review on, and then they have in square brackets says review site. And I know because I just was setting up an ads campaign for a, a remodeling uh, client uh, just last week. And it suggested that. And I was like, huh, I didn't think we could do that. So I, I, I actually created a call out extension that said CR reviews on, and there he's got reviews on house. Um, uh, I think he's got some on home advisor. He's got reviews on his Facebook page and they're all really, you know, 4.9 stars and up is what he's got. And so um, anyways, I went to, I, I started adding a few of those call outs like that. And guess what? Every one of them got disapproved for, for trademark. And I was just like, well, wait a minute, Google just suggested this. But so when I removed all of those, um, you know, all the different names of different brands or trademark names, then it, then my, the other call outs got approved. So I just want to let you know, like, if, if it's if it's a trademark name, like a, a brand name or something like that, and you can oftentimes use like competitors brand names for local businesses because they haven't trademarked them, by the way. Um, but for trademark names, it will usually be disapproved right away. But for something like printer maintenance or printer service, as long as you're not doing HP design jet or HP or Hewlett Packard, for example, printer service or printer maintenance, I don't see why that would be disapproved. So. Well, I, I think that's what he's saying that, that he's using HP design jet, uh, say or maintenance or, or maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. And so, because he, I don't know, he, he put that in. Yeah, no, if, if you're using HP Design Jet and that's a trademarked name in the actual ad along with printer maintenance, for example, um, then it I can see why it wouldn't be approved. Um, so I, again, I would contact, look, I know a lot of times shit happens with Google ads that I it just doesn't make any sense. And the only way to get an answer is to call them and ask. And sometimes it'll take a couple of days to get uh, you know, to get a valid response. For example, another one is I had, um, I don't know if you know, but you can use remarketing lists as what they call an observation. You can add an observation audience, which is essentially a, a, a remarketing list is what I like to use for search ads, not remarketing list for search ads and RLSA, but I'm saying you can, if you have a remarketing list built, you can actually use that or add an audience to a search ad, a search ad campaign, not to serve to that audience, but it helps to show, kind of creates like a similar to or lookalike audiences, I guess in Facebook they would call it, but a similar audience um, so that Google will serve your ads, your search ads to people that are more likely to engage with them. And so you call it an observation uh, ad or observation list. And for whatever reason, all of my observation lists were saying your remarketing list has been suspended for search use or, or search ad use or whatever. And I didn't know why. And I spent like an hour digging into uh, Google forums and help threads and all this kind of stuff, trying to figure out why it was saying that they were, you know, what did I do wrong? And finally, I just called a Google rep. And I, you know, sometimes I, I'm wary of doing that because I'm worried that they're going to, 
you know, I'm going to reveal something about my account that I shouldn't have done. But I just called Google and I got on the phone with somebody and I, within about, uh, they, they ended up saying that they had to escalate it up to their engineering department and that they'd get back to me within, um, they said 48 hours. Well, within two hours, I got a call back from the Google rep that I'd spoke with. And she said, oh, it's a known bug. Um, you didn't do anything wrong. Don't worry about it. The, 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 uh, when it gets fixed, that, that warning message that says it's suspended will be cleared automatically. And within 24 hours, everything will clear it up. So I, what I'm, the reason I say that is just don't hesitate to call Google Ads. Remember, you're spending money on their platform. I don't like to contact Google for any SEO related support, although sometimes we have to. But when it comes to Google Ads, I'm paying them money, you know, so I don't mind calling them and asking them to clarify uh, issues. And most of the time I get a reasonable um, response from them. So as far as YouTube, and again, as long as you're not using a trademark term in the ad copy, I don't see why that would be an issue. But I don't know. You'd have to contact them for sure.